If you're coming to VS Code from another editor, one thing you may initially struggle with is that you have a lot of muscle memory built up and you'll find yourself using your previous editor's keyboard shortcuts in VS Code. Now, VS Code actually lets you fully control the key bindings. So you can go here to File Preferences and then Keyboard Shortcuts. And in here, you have really fine-grained control and you can rebind pretty much every action in VS Code. But let's say you're coming from Atom, for example, and you wanted to make the VS Code key bindings feel a little bit more familiar and sort of match what Atom is doing. If you wanted to do that, you'd really have to rebind quite a few different keys here, and you might not even know what commands you need to rebind, so the two editors might use different terms. That's where key maps come into play. So to access key maps, I'm just going to go up to, again, File Preferences, and say Key Maps. So key maps are extensions that install a set of keyboard shortcuts, and they try to make you feel a little bit more at home if you're used to one of these other, key, uh, one of these other editors' keyboard shortcuts. So you can see here that we have key maps for Sublime, Atom, IntelliJ, Notepad++, Eclipse, and Visual Studio, along with some other ones here. And let's say I was coming from IntelliJ, and I'm used to the keyboard shortcuts over there. I'm just going to install the extension here. And now I've installed this extension. Let's close some things down and then go back to a JavaScript file to kind of demonstrate this. One common operation in IntelliJ, for example, is showing the parameter information at the current position. And IntelliJ uses Command-P to do that. Normally in VS Code, you would use uh, Command Shift Spacebar. But now that I've installed this key map extension, the keyboard shortcuts should kind of more closely match IntelliJ. So let's try Command P. And sure enough, it goes and shows the uh, parameter information there. Now, because the, these keyboard shortcuts are trying to emulate something that IntelliJ is doing, many of VS Code's more common keyboard shortcuts, such as opening the command palette, would also have to be changed. So normally, something like Command P would open the command palette. Now that has obviously been taken, so they had to rebind um, the open command palette action. In this case, it is bound to Command Shift A instead. So if I say Command Shift A, I get the command palette being opened. So that's just something to keep in mind that other VS Code actions that don't really have an equivalent in the other editors, those ones also might have to change because there will be key binding conflicts. But overall, these keyboard map extensions are really helpful if you're finding yourself just feeling a little bit lost when getting started with VS Code.